Mackey and Spitfire. And I believe they are the defending world champion from a year ago. So Lil Miss Sydney out of Olympia, Washington, the state capital, handling the six-year-old, nearly seven-year-old whippet named Spitfire. Spitty, world record holder. Spitty, world champion. Reaction time, 0 0.081. Swim, 4.200. New leader, Spitfire. Spitfire goes to the lead at a 4.20 with a number two and number one qualifier yet to swim. So Little Miss Sydney and that world record holder and the defending world champion into the pool with a wave leading swim of 4.20. You can see a little bit of a hang up on the bumper. Your number one swimmer. And the current Big Air world record holder, Sounders, coming up. They've had a Big Air jump of 32 feet, 10 inches. That's Laurel Benke. Laurel Benke from Rochester, Washington. Five, four and a half year old whipping. Sounders owns the world record in Big Air at 32.10. And they're the number one qualifier in Sonic Speed Retrieve. Big jump, short swim. Quick time, and every time we've got him on the dock, we've got a chance, an opportunity to see that world record number lowered. 3.489, that's the WR. Time to be right here, right now, 4.20, the 420. Reaction time, 0.240, swim. Swim time. Swim time is 3.711. The leader at 3.711. We got a chance at a WR. We got a chance to see some history in the 20th anniversary of Dog Dogs. And you can see the Sounders nearly landed right on top of the bumper. Short work when they don't even hardly have to take one doggy paddle to pull the bumper and stop the clock. Reaction time was two tenths of a second. As we're getting ready to bring up on dock, Spitfire, Little Miss Sydney Mackey, fresh off a world championship in Elite Big Air, with a defending world champion, with the world record holder on the outdoor side of a speed retreat for Sonic. Spitfire from Olympia, Washington. The nearly seven-year-old Whippet trying to go low. Reaction time, point one, three, three. Pulls the clock. For some reason, whenever it's like a now or never moment, and we have... He always does his best. A new indoor world record with 3.564! The 3.564 takes Spitfire, the defending world champion, back to the top of the leaderboard and sets a new indoor world record. So Spitty, he owns the indoor and the outdoor world record. Indoor, we just saw it. At the 3.564. They went 3.489 in the outdoors for the world record. And that just solidly put the pressure on the last two in competition. What a tremendous job. And look at the excitement from the kid from Olympia. To the last jump. Score to beat 3.564. They held the indoor world record for about three minutes with a 3.711. That's Laurel Benke and Sounders from Rochester, Washington, trying to unseat the current reigning world champion, Spitfire. Spitty is the leader right now at 3.564, owning both indoor and outdoor world records. Now it's time for Laurel Benke and Sounders to show what they've got. It comes down to this to determine a world champion. And it will be.
it will be a false start. So your winner today with a new indoor world record, Sydney Mackey and Spitfire! It's the world record for just a moment of time.